Hello everyone, it's Crystal Ether here and I hope you got some New Year's resolutions prepared for 2024. Today, I'll be covering the scenic nature into the Twilight Gacha banner, made to celebrate the coming year. This union event features the South Sector, associated with a technique attribute and attired in gorgeous New Year garments. The set has to compete with Winter South within the same attribute and sector, but this analysis will see how well they stack up in the game's current roster. Before we begin, I just want to emphasize that if you really, really like the card, then go for it. This is a single player game, so you should enjoy your roster how you like. The star of this banner is the mentor leader himself, who coincidentally is also a 4-star in the other South Technique squad. He's absolutely cracked. Both of his skills complement his role as a main DPS unit, sharing a similar kit to Delinquent Keith and Halloween Will in buffing important offensive stats and charging his own BP gauge by landing critical hits. In fact, this brat has the exact same skill set as Delinquent Keith, which goes to show how effective this set of buffs are in combat. Despite the stellar kit, Brad needs a steady supply of attack orbs to perform at his best, which most of his frames fail to provide. His burst skill also lacks an extra effect or modifier that could improve his performance, but this is a minor nitmick compared to other glaring issues that can apply to other DPS cards. Brad's frameless leans towards a balanced mix of offense and defense, so players are a bit limited on providing offensive support in his main frame slot. Players who plan to use this card should consider using his gacha Gentleman Frame, which significantly buffs his attack for 3 turns while also restoring his HP. Brad's Winter Sports Frame is also another option, as it buffs the team's attack while also granting them a modest BP gauge up per turn effect. For a budget friendly option, his Pool Party Frame buffs his attack and burst damage of all allies but has a low modifier. This frame's passive is also unapplicable to Brad himself as it only increases the the HP of Brave Allies. The 2024 New Year's Akira takes a step back from being the star of the New Year's show, with a basic kit to support his allies. Unfortunately, the cooldown for both of his skills are extremely high at 10 turns without any upgrades, severely limiting his usability. His second skill's attack down debuff is strong, but endgame teams prefer a defense down debuff instead. After all, damage is the best form of mitigation. Akira's passive to buff Techie Ally's HP is nice, but providing a boost to attack is preferred in most cases due to the return limit in boss battles. The stackable defense down effect on his burst skill is irrelevant, as you won't be intentionally using this Akira as a DPS unit, and he's best used for his link skill to help secure critical hits for the New Year's Brad. If you do plan to use this version of Akira outside of this event, his best options are frames that provide support for the team. Outside of the 6 turn cooldown, his Red South Heroes frame is an excellent option for his main slot as not only is it obtainable by farming, but the frame significantly buffs the attack of whoever you select alongside Akira himself. If that target is red, the effect of the attack up buff is increased. Alternatively, the Rampage frame is another option as it buffs the entire team's burst damage. Use this frame if you plan to bring a sub DPS into the team, such as New Year's Oscar. Lastly, the Hunting frame can be equipped on him to provide offensive support, as it synergizes well with the New Year's Brad skill set. The other South Rookie shares the same problem as his friend, as Will has a very high cooldown on for his active skills. His healing skill isn't very important in the long run once you have enough damage, but locking his BP gauge up skill behind an initial 2 turn cooldown alongside an excessive 11 turn cooldown with 0 limit break levels is appalling. Will's burst skill is also the same as his 3 star banner buddy, but that doesn't justify intentionally using him over Brad's sheer offensive might. Unlike Akira, Will provides a boost to his Technique Ally's attack, but it's better to bring a stronger supporter if they're available in your roster, as they can outperform a single passive. Players planning to use this card might encounter some difficulties, as most of Will's stronger frames rely on the Poison debuff, which is a status effect this version of Will cannot inflict. The Hunting Frame is a good option for any support unit, though note that the Echo Damage is determined based on Will's attack stat. Other options for this will include his Firefighter frame, which can significantly buff the team's burst damage for one turn, his Gacha Cooking frame if you want to guarantee critical hits for the entire team and don't want to use a critical rate uplink, and his Event Cooking frame, 
which grants a single ally a modest amount of VP gauge while also buffing the attack of Technique allies through its passive. Rounding off the set is Oscar, the freebie that players can obtain from participating in the current Union event. The South Mentor is ready to support Red with plenty of offensive support, bringing a powerful defense down debuff, a bleed damage modifier he can enable on his own, and important buffs to key offensive stats. This card also has respectable damage in his burst skill, so you can act as a sub DPS in the team when taking his buffs into consideration. Oscar also has a damage uplink, which is valuable for Brad as the latter can easily secure critical hits and can buff his attacks sky high. It's clear that when these two work together, there's very little that can get in their way. It's very hard to go wrong with this version of Oscar, as he has a very effective skill set for his role. The only addition I'd make to his skill set is giving him the ability to buff critical damage and damage up versus passion, but I understand that this would be overkill for a free unit. At least we can dream. As most of Oscar's frames are self buffs or defensive in nature, the best frames for this card are limited either in availability or effectiveness. His event exclusive Winter Sports frame is the best one to support Brad, as it gives the team a stackable damage up modifier against passion enemies. Players who don't have this frame can also consider Oscar's cooking frame, which gives a special attack orb to all allies while also buffing their attack and defense, or the hunting frame for the echo damage effect. However, the frame that can be obtained from this vet can be used if none of the previous frames are available, as it lets Oscar provide BP gauge to his team. It's generic, but it works for his role. The South Sector rings in the new year with an amazing event set that can easily keep up with the recent card sets released in Helios. To summarize these past few minutes, none of the cards are outright unusable and Brad is a star that joins Helios' roster as a powerful DPS card. It's a shame that the rookies had to underperform so that the mentors can shine, but Oscar's status as a free unit means that he'll be an asset for many players, new or old. That's all for this analysis, if you enjoyed the content please consider subscribing to the channel. Otherwise, I'll see you all in the next video.